Now, Premier League insider David Ornstein, the man that knows everything about everything. We're going to focus, though, on these two teams in a minute, Arsenal. But first of all, the two most important figures at the club, David, this summer, Harry Kane, Antonio Conte, what's going to happen? Well, Rebecca, of course Tottenham would like both of them to stay. They would love nothing more. But what they want to do is an entirely different matter, potentially. We know that Harry Kane wanted to leave last summer. Will he want to do the same again? And what will Daniel Levy's reaction be this time round? Because last time he said no. I feel with two years to go on his contract that he may be more willing to sell Harry Kane. However, where will the offers come from? Where is the market? I think the most likely market for that sort of money that he would want would be England, but then he doesn't want to sell to a rival and potentially strengthen them. So it will all come down to Harry Kane's decision once he knows the outcome of Tottenham's campaign. My understanding is that if he feels they can challenge for trophies, he might sign a new contract. If he doesn't, he'll want to leave. If Daniel Levy doesn't sanction it, he'll go as a free agent in 2021. Antonio Conte wants to stay, but will he? That's the big question because he wants to be backed in the market. He wants to um, significantly strengthen this squad in the goalkeeper department, the central defence, the fullbacks, the midfield, and the attack. And it will largely depend on the budget that Daniel Levy gives him, and that will be determined by what European competition they finish in. So there are many I speak to who felt Antonio Conte won't see out this season. He won't get to 2023 or, or the contract extension that could keep him until 2024. But I think Daniel Levy has tried everything now on the managerial front. He'll want to stick with this. And David, in terms of Arsenal and Mikel Arteta's potential budget, does that depend as well on whether or not they finish fourth as to how much money he's going to get to spend? It does indeed, but I think Arsenal have their plans in place for either scenario. And this will be a more of a summer of evolution rather than what we've seen in the past, which has been revolution. More quality rather than quantity. And the striker department is really key for Mikel Arteta, with potentially Alexandra Lacazette and Eddie Nketiah both leaving. They never replaced Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. And their top target for that position is Manchester City's Gabriel Jesus. But they also have a number of other options that they're sifting through at the moment and we'll see what can work because of course they do want to try and sign Nketiah to a new contract so it may just be one that they need in midfield they want to strengthen with Leicester City's Yuri Tillemans currently the top target and others in that department as well what they might do elsewhere in the pitch will depend on departures if Nuno Tavares leaves on loan for more experience they might bring in another left back if Hector Bellerin leaves on a permanent basis or another loan then they might need to strengthen at right back and there's a big question about the future of William Saliba. Will he finally come in, that big signing from France, and take a place in the squad? And if not, Arsenal might need to strengthen in the central defensive department. And then one more for our US audiences. They, of course, have a US goalkeeper, the national team goalkeeper, coming into the squad from New, York, uh, New England Revolution in the summer. So it's going to be a busy summer for Arsenal again, and the budget will be determined by the outcome of the uh, European campaign and for Tottenham as well. So busy all round. Indeed, and tonight that means is even bigger. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch highlights all season long and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend at 7 a.m. Eastern. And for even more content, head over to Peacock, where we've got live games, original series and a dedicated round-the-clock Premier League channel featuring studio shows, classic matches and much more.